Hey guys, Patrick from Ryan Rock Off-Road here. Today we're going to be installing some light brackets. Now these are going to be going on the cowl position on your JL and JT. Uh, they're going to come as a set, two of them, left and right, powder coated black. With your mounting hardware, lights are separate, but these are what we're installing today. Uh, you're going to have a couple of mounting options here. You're going to have your top hole and a side hole, which means you can put your light wherever you want it. You can even run two lights or... Uh, for you uh, comms guys, you have some uh, extra spots for antennas. Now these, like I said, are going to go right in the cowl position here. Let's do an install. Now to get things started, we're going to remove both of these side bolts and then the rear of the top. We don't have to mess with that one. To get these off, we are using a T40 Torx bit. Now, the bracket is going to be pretty tight fitting against that cowl. Uh, it's going to be hard to get your hardware uh, underneath it for the light and to, to get tools in there to torque it down. So we're going to install the light on the bracket, then the bracket on the Jeep. The light's on the bracket. Time to get the bracket on the Jeep. We're going to start with our tall washer. We put that right up in our pocket there and grab our tall bolt, get things started, and we'll grab our short spacers and short bolts and go in from the side. And leaving our hardware kind of loose before we get this last one in there so we can lift the bracket, move things around a little bit. Now we've got all of our hardware started, we can go ahead and tighten it down. One down, one to go. Let's do it. All right, check it out. We got lights, brackets. We're all we're all good to go well, here. Hey, what? Uh, you gotta wire them up, bud. Fine, I'll wire them too. Now we've got this nice pre-made harness with these lights, uh, and being as it's a you know newer model has the AUGS buttons from the factory, we actually don't have to use the whole thing. So we're gonna get what we need up into the Jeep, routed, cleaned up real nice, and. Uh, yeah, get it wired in so we can use these bad Larrys. Now as we're uh, getting ready to plug in our lights, we got a nice gap here. And just fish that right on through. Plug her in. So we've got our harness started, connected at the lights, ran it, it's run right back behind here, nice and clean out of the way. And now being as this has the factory AUGS options, uh, we get to cut this harness short and just tie into uh, the factory wiring. Too easy. All right, we got our power wire all heat shrunk up there. Now we're just uh, putting our ground on the uh, ground stud on the inside of the fender there. Then we get to test these things out.
All right, and there you have it. We've got some awesome lights and an awesome location to better help see at night. You can find these things on ironrockoffroad.com.